Hello and welcome to the whiskey.com news on the 26th of June 2018. And we have a number of interesting news and one horrible news from America. But we start off with Scotland. And there is a sale going on. It's not uh, whiskey that is sold today, but the Adrington Group is selling one of their distilleries and one of their brands. So the Glen Turret distillery is being sold and also the Cutty Sark uh, blended whiskey, that brand. Uh, it's not well known in Middle Europe. I'm not sure how, how it's well known in the US, but it's mostly, mostly a brand of Southern Europe. So it's Spain, Greece, where it's popular. And the Glen Turret distillery is known for supplying their their whiskey to the famous Grouse blend. So yeah, it's it's not a very well known single malt distillery. And that's exactly why this distillery was sold because the Edrington Group who owns the distillery wants to focus more on their premium market. So it's more onto Macallan, Glen Rosses, Highland Park. So they're focusing on the premium section and they want to sell off kind of their blend stuff into, yeah, into other hands yeah if you have a few couple of millions too much then give them a call and try to buy the Glen Turret distillery yeah uh, the next uh, news is a new distillery on the Isle of Arran it's the lag distillery with a double G and they want to open their doors on the spring 2019 so it's a pretty tough schedule. They already have a bit of a steel construction going on, but it's yeah, it's, it's going to be close if they want to open 2019 at uh, in spring. Uh, we will, it will be built on the south end of Aaron and it will have a heavily peated whiskey. So it's not really a competition for the established distillery of the Isle of Aaron, but actually uh, the distillery is built by the Aaron distilleries. Uh, distillers so it's kind of a sister distillery to the existing one they want to um, um, enlarge their capacity from their existing 1.2 million liters per year to 2 million liters per year they've already built three new warehouses and there's one special thing going on the first 700 filled casks will be sold on the market and you can buy them for about six thousand pounds yeah, so if you're interested, then uh, search around and register for that. And maybe you will be the proud owner of a new whiskey cask. Next uh, news is again about the Edrington Group. Yeah, Edrington is um, rearranging their range at uh, McKellen. So we have the Sherry Oak 12 year old, the double cask 12 year old, and the triple cask matured 12 year old. They will have a new design, new label, kind of a new bottle, and they will discontinue the Sienna, Amber and the 1824 series and uh, replace that by the new McQuellen Quest series. If you'd like to know more about that, there is everything written on whiskey.com slash news. And uh, the next news is about Tomatin. Tomatin was very successful in the last year. They had a turnover increase of about 25%. And their new visitor center, the brand is now worth uh, more than 1 billion, uh, million pound. Billion would be much, much, far too much, but 1 million pound. Yeah. So congratulations to, to Matten. Quality pays out. And now they are one of the top 10 single mold brands in the US. And then we move to the US. There is a warehouse in Kentucky that collapsed. Oh my God, is it Heaven Hill again? Nope, it's not in Heaven Hill this time. It is the Barton Distillery, a warehouse with about 18,000 casks or barrels as the Americans say, uh, call them, uh, collapsed. And it's about half of the, the warehouse. And yeah, the casks were of different ages. And so the Sazerac lost pretty big some a pretty big amount of whiskey but i'm not sure it will not have a, a huge effect on the whiskey market as there are just tons of these warehouses but the other question is as the whiskey yeah left the barrels 
uh, it drained into the ground. So is there an environmental impact? And people took first probes of their, their water and the water was not yeah, uh, polluted. So I asked, polluted? Isn't it going to make the water better? No, nah, just, just joking. But people are actually talking about you know, replacing the ground. And I have to say, I'm not sure if this is really necessary. Um, maybe whiskey is not that good for the environment, but it will not have a lo long lasting effect. So the whiskey will be, yeah, taken apart by bacteria. And in a few years, we will have no impact at all in, in the environment. We had big problems with the burning distillery of Heaven Hill. And then we had a few tornadoes, I think, going through the, the warehouses, ripping apart the, the sheet metal on the sides and dropping a few barrels into the river. So we had a, a river of burning whiskey already there. So, um, and the region is still fine. So um, I'm thinking environmental impact will be over in a few months. Yeah. The next thing comes from Ireland. Uh, Ireland is going to have a new whiskey distilleries. It's the Dublin Liberties Distillery that is being built in yeah, Dublin. It's going to open in October and it's going to have three big pot stills from Germany. They're about eight meters high, three tons heavy, so quite huge ones. And they want to produce about 700,000 liters per year. Yeah. the it's not going to be a standard brand. It's going to be a premium brand, but with 700,000 liters, they're going to have to do a lot of stuff and they're going to have to yeah, mature good whiskey to sell that. But um, I'm hopeful and maybe these people can do it. So I'm hoping to see them also in the future on my cask. And if you want to see that, then please stay subscribed and see you next time.